Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Jonathan Banks and I am a third year DMD PhD student at the UIC College of Dentistry. Thank you for joining us for this groundbreaking video series where we will showcase some of our exceptional researchers and their pioneering research topics. As a student researcher, I've witnessed firsthand the research excellence at our college, which you will experience today. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sriram Ravindran, Associate Professor in Oral Biology, who will teach us about cellular male theft for regenerative medicine. Dr. Ravindran? Thank you, Jonathan. Welcome, everyone. Today, I want to talk about the research focus of my laboratory. As you can see from the title side, we deal with cellular male theft. It's all for your own good, I assure you. Before I go into detail about why we engage in this and what these things are, I want to start by talking a little bit about communication. We, as human beings, communicate on a daily basis. We talk to each other, we converse in groups, and now, with the advancement of technology, we can talk to the whole world should we choose to. But there is one form of communication that we use regularly, and that is email. Let us assume that I want to send a set of instructions to a specific group of people for them to follow. All I have to do is write those set of instructions in an email, address it to the recipients, and send it. And when they receive it, they will be able to decipher what's in it, and they will be able to act on it. So what I want to do is I want to extrapolate this concept to the human body. So when you extrapolate communication to the human body, the first thought that comes to our mind, ironically, is the brain. The brain communicates with the rest of our body and controls much of our actions. But there is a different form of communication, a very sophisticated form of communication that exists in our body. This form of communication is very similar to the email that we use on a daily basis. So the way this form of communication works is that cells in our body secrete these little tiny packets of instructions and information for the surrounding cells to receive. When the other cells take these packets of information up, they're able to decipher the instructions that are in these packets and they're able to act on them. And this is what we call the cellular mail. If you look at the image that's displayed now, these little packets of information that you see is what the cellular mail is. The cells use this information on a daily basis to communicate with each other and to instruct each other on what to do when we have different scenarios in our body, like when we have an insult or an injury or when we have a disease, or simply to say everything is fine, which is also very important. So what we do in my lab is we collect these packets of information and we want to analyze them. We want to find out what they are made of, how they are taken up by other cells, and what kind of instructions are present in these little packets. For this purpose, in order to improve healing, we collect these packets of information from stem cells. And as we all know, stem cells are masters at healing, and they are able to instruct other tissues on how to heal. So it's very important to know what kind of instructions the stem cells send to the surrounding cells to enable healing. Another space that we collect these little packets of information from is the mouth. And you may wonder, why do we have to look at the mouth? If you think about it, the mouth is an open environment. 
It's the gateway into our body. And as a result, the mouth always faces a lot of threats and dangers from various microorganisms like bacteria and virus. But with evolution, the tissues in our mouth have evolved to have excellent immune defense and regenerative properties. And a lot of the instructions for the mouth tissues to heal lies in these little packets of information that are present in our saliva and the cells of our mouth. So one of the things that we do in our lab is to collect these packets of information from the saliva and we read what's in it and how they behave. The overall goal for this type of research or this line of research is so that one day we can artificially make these little packets of information to help us heal tissues that are not as fortunate as the oral tissues, like bone, skin, and nerve. We can use this technology to deliver vaccines and drugs, and we can also use this technology to help treat diseases like cancer, arthritis, and diabetes. I hope you found this talk informative. Thank you for your time.